So in the second question of category 6, it is given that alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square plus 2x plus 2 equals to 0. And we have to prove that alpha raised to n into beta raised to n equals to 2 raised to n. So basically, here we first find alpha and beta ki values find karenge using the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So here b is 2 plus or minus square root of b square is uh, 2 square that is 4 minus 4 a is 1 and c is 2 divided by 2 into a that is 1. So this is equals to minus 2 plus or minus now 4 minus 8 is minus 4 divided by 2. So minus 4 is basically minus sorry square root of minus 4 can be written as square root of min, 1 minus uh, square root of minus 1 into square root of 4 which is equal to now square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 4 is 2. So square root of minus 4 is 2i divided by 2. So this is equals to minus 1 plus or minus i. Therefore the roots are alpha and beta are such that alpha equals to minus 1 plus i and beta equals to minus 1 minus i. Okay. So, यहाँ पर आप alpha and beta किसी को भी choose कर सकते हो, चाहे ये alpha लो, चाहे ये beta लो, उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा, ठीक है? So, यहाँ पर मुझे alpha raised to n into beta raised to n uh, calculate करना है, so basically आपको पता है कि जब भी मुझे किसी complex number का nth power calculate करना हो, तो हम क्या use करते हैं? Polar form. Uh, so, यहाँ पर मैं इसका polar form calculate करूँगा, और इसका polar form मुझे इससे ही मिल जाएगा, क्योंकि ये exactly इसका complex conjugate है, ठीक है? So, Comparing minus 1 plus i with the standard form a plus i b, I will get a equals to minus 1 b equals to 1 and this implies that r equals to square root of sum of squares of real part plus imaginary part that is minus 1 square plus 1 square which is equals to square root of 2. And here a is negative and b is positive. So theta will belongs to second quadrant okay? and therefore we can use formula theta equals to pi minus 10 inverse mod of b by a. अब ये formula हम लोगों polar form के video में discuss किया है, so उस video में आप इस shortcuts को देख सकते हैं, ठीक है? So this is equals to pi minus now b is one and a is uh, minus one, so mod of minus one will be one. So 10 inverse one is pi by four, so this is equals to pi minus pi by four, that is three pi by four. So therefore minus one plus i can be written as root 2 into cos of 3 pi by 4 plus i sin 3 pi by 4 in its polar form okay uh, hence alpha raised to n so this is actually alpha equals to root 2 raised to n into cos now by d modulus theorem i can multiply the power n with 3 pi by 4 so yahan par agar main raised to n karta hu dono taraf तो यहां पर भी n आएगा और यहां पर भी n आएगा तो यहां का n तो मैंने लिख दिया √2 रेस्ट n पर यहां का जो पावर है उसको मैं 3πy/4 से मल्टीप्लाई कर सकता हूं यूजिंग डी मोरियस थ्योरम ओके सो देयरफॉर दिस इज गिवन बाय cos 3πn/4 i sin 3πn/4 एज पर डी मोरियस थ्योरम ओके सिमिलरली बीटा रेस्ट टू n इज इक्वल्स टू √2 रेस्ट टू n cos ऑफ 3πn/4 i sin 3 pi n by 4. यहाँ पर आपको ये चीज ध्यान देना है कि beta is exactly complex conjugate of क्या uh, alpha. So beta raised to n में सिर्फ आपको i को replace करना है minus i से. ठीक है? बाकी की सारी चीजें same रहेगी. Therefore, अब देखिए ये दोनों को multiply करना है. So multiply करने का logic क्या है? कि जब भी हम किसी चीज को multiply करें तो कौन सा form होना चाहिए? Complex number का exponential form. आप इस चीज को याद रखिए. So इसे मैं लिख सकता हूँ. दे, देखिए root 2 is equals to 2 raised to 1 by 2. So this can be written as 2 raised to n by 2 okay because root 2 ka jo main 2 raised to 1 by 2 likhunga to 1 by 2 n se multiply hoga aur mujhe kya milega n by 2 and then ye particular expression ko main exponential form mein likh sakta hu e raised to i 3 pi n by 4 okay similarly ise main likh sakta hu 2 raised to n by 2 into e raised to minus i 3 pi n by 4 so agar ab main dono ko multiply karu that is alpha raised to n into beta raised to n so it will be 2 raised to n by 2 into 2 raised to n by 2 that is n by 2 plus n by 2 into now e raised to i 3 pi n by 4 into e raised to minus i 3 pi n by 4 so if powers jab add honge to mujhe milega e raised to 0 so next term kya hoga 1 okay so final answer is 2 raised to n which is equals to rhs so let's see the question number 3